Hey, that looks like General Plow's Corvette right there. There you go. Michael! Jay, how are you? How are you? I couldn't be better. Thank you. How are you? Hey, Michael, how Mr. are you? President, how are you, sir? Good to see you, man. It's great to see you. How have you been? I've been well. I miss your dad, but I've been well. We miss him very deeply. <laughs> we lost w one great pal, but we have another one. Tell him. Uh, I got a grandchild? My son just had a, a little grandson. First? First grandson for me. All oh, right. Uh, they found out they were pregnant soon after my dad died, so there's a kind of uh, circle of life quality that's really beautiful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it yeah. Is. The Powell line continues. So well, I'll tell you what, there's nothing like it. How about the Powell racing legacy? We well, really trying to keep up with me. You can't. I be can serious. keep up with you, man. Come on. I'll man. flat shift this sucker in second gear. What I mean? don't even need second gear. Automatic will beat you to death. Now, the last time your dad felt he got perhaps cheated a little bit. Well, yeah, I, I, I'm frankly here to kind of settle a score. Okay. You know, for years he was very, very bitter. He said that he had won that race clearly, but somehow that got lost in editing. And, uh, you know, he said, if I ever had the chance, I had to uh, make that right, so. It's like one of those westerns where the sun comes back <laughs> to avenge. I got it. Very Shakespearean. It. By the way, um, now, how many horsepower is this? 10,000 or Let's something? Let's put it this way, enough. But why don't we see how they actually stack up? The president certainly has his work cut out for him. His 67 vet is nearly 50 years older. And while its 350 horsepower V8 is still a beast, General Powell's 455 horsepower engine has a bit of an itch. As far as value goes, there's no contest. The Biden Mobile Stinger is valued around 150,000, but some say it's priceless, just like Joe. Well, you know, I guess it gets down to the driving skills. Yeah, yeah. I uh, guess it does. You guys want to do this? Let's do it. Come on. Let's All right, do it. Mr. All President. Right. All right. We're going straight ahead, right? Straight ahead. I'll Once take again, out the cameraman on the left, you All get right. the guy on the right. I'll do what we need to do to keep everybody out. So, gentlemen, <laughs> get in your cars. Secret Service, please look the other way. Pay no attention to the two men in the Corvettes. Both men warming up their vehicles. Both men determined. Gemini, ready to go? Ready to go. Ready. May the best Corvette win. On your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> Let's shut this down over. I am in so much trouble. Uh-oh, here comes the Secret Service. Now, as you'll recall, the POTUS isn't allowed to drive anymore on public roads. This is the only time you get to drive is when you're with Yeah, me. it is. It's a God's <laughs> truth. I know, it's funny. And I miss it. I know. Every once in a while, I take the Corvette out of the garage and just run up and down the driveway. Yeah, well, that's why I never would run for president. I right? just it's, it's, can't drive. You can't. So behind the scenes, he just couldn't wait to drive that amazing all-electric F100 one more time. All right. Ready to go? Yep. On your mark. Get set, go! Whoa! <laughs> Just don't kill the high paid star. <laughs> Slow the hell down, you crazy kids! What are you doing out there? <laughs> your crazy electric cars. Uh, I tell you what, man. Isn't this thing move? This it's, is it's amazing. But to be totally honest, the best part about being on set has to be capturing candid moments like this one. And the thing about your father which to me is the greatest compliment I can give a man or a woman. He was absolutely, totally a man of his word. Whatever he said, yeah, yeah. he believed, and whatever he said he'd do, he did. Yeah, I'm thoroughly, completely honored and proud of your father's friendship and his support. I, I mean, you can't imagine. People come up to me and they say, oh, your father meant this to me. I said, I just want you to know he was that way all the time. He was as good a father as he was a public servant.